Hi there. I'm Dan, and I'm a senior Kaseya administrator here at Provel Tech. Today I wanted to go over Live Connect, how to install and use it, as well as its several modules. Live Connect is one of the most important aspects of delivering help desk level service to end clients within your VSA, and is very powerful. Let's get into it. First, let's install Live Connect. If you've never used Live Connect, you'll be prompted to install the software on your endpoint during your first run. The best way to access this and to access Live Connect in general is on an endpoint by using the Quick View window. Let's go through it together. First, access the Manage Agents module, select an agent, and hover over the agent status icon. By the way, if you need more clarification on some of these terms, check out some of my previous videos on Quick Connect and the Agents module. Once you've opened Quick View, click on Live Connect. Then click on the Download Latest Version link here and then run the installer that downloads. Now, when you open Quick View and click Live Connect, a new window will open. Make sure to tell your browser to trust this page to open that application before moving forward. Now, the Live Connect window could be a lot the first time you see it, but let's tackle each screen one by one. The first screen you'll see when you open Live Connect is the Asset Summary page. This just provides a nice amount of info at a glance, as well as a snapshot of the current endpoint state. If you watched my previous video or are familiar with Quick Connect, you'll recognize the Agent Procedure section here, which works the same way as in Quick Connect. Double clipping the snapshot here, we'll launch Remote Control. Here in the Remote Control window, you'll see that we have some controls at the top of the page. Clicking Record will record the Remote Control session. You can find these recording results as a WebM file in Agents, Agents, Screen, con screen Recording. Excuse me. You can also send a Control-Alt-Delete, paste your local clipboard, and use other common remote control features from this taskbar. Another way to launch remote control is from the menu on the left here, where you can also launch a non-invasive session in the background with Private Session. This requires the endpoint to have RDP enabled, but Live Connect will enable this for you if it's not. Moving on from remote control, we have several other tools that we can use to remediate issues on the endpoint. The Files module allows us to browse the endpoint file system and perform basic functions on these files. Commands allows us to pass a command or PowerShell instruction to the endpoint. Services shows us a convenient list of services on the endpoint. A red icon here means the service is stopped, and a green one means that it's running. Clicking on the service provides a brief description of that service. And the context menu on the right allows us to start, stop, restart, or change the startup type of that service. The processes module allows us to review running processes on the endpoint, and to stop these processes using the context menu here. The Registry module allows us to view the currently loaded registry hives, which means only for the current user. From the context menus, we can modify and create keys, create entries, or delete them. This event module here shows us several different log options. Most of the Windows event viewer logs are located here, as well as some RMM and PowerShell logs. I would look over these at your leisure. The tickets module here, it's just an integration of Service Desk, um, but if you have Service Desk enabled in your RMM, then it will show a log of tickets that have been opened for this endpoint. And that's it. Live Connect is a very powerful tool, and this video only touched the surface, really. Uh, but the more you use it, the more you'll learn. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Kaseya. And to learn more about what we do, visit ProvalTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.